Hi everyone. So what I want to talk about today is my journey to finding my own style. And it started off Let's check in with the first painting that I painted in probably 30, 35 years. I had been heavily involved in art while I was in high school. I took every art class I could and extra ones. Um, when I was in college, I was studying technical illustration, which was um, something that I felt would be good for the future and job-wise. Um, it was not as creative. Uh, I felt really restricted by drawing nuts and bolts. I, it was not my thing. But I did have an instructor that was um, that required sketchbooks from us each week, and that was really fun. I loved that. So anyway, um, life got in the way, and I just literally dropped art, dropped drawing, stopped painting, and... Um, have not even thought about it in years and years. So while I was visiting my mom, who is an artist, um, I was trying to repair a print that I had that had some scratches, and she said, just suggested, why didn't I take a canvas and paint something? And I thought, oh well, why not? Why why not try that? And um, I painted this chicken, and it was really fun, and I really enjoyed it. Um, now, what I did not enjoy was the fact that I was using acrylics because acrylics have never, ever been my medium. I literally struggle so hard when I'm using acrylic, um, but I thought I would give it a go, and I felt like I could learn it, and so I, um, I kept pursuing that. I bought some canvases of my own, and I started painting. And this is probably like the third or fourth painting that I did with acrylic. And I mean, oh my gosh, I struggled so hard. And the thing is, um, what I was trying to do was Impressionism or Post-Impressionism, not using um, maybe the colors that you would normally see or not painting exactly what you see, not trying to be a photograph. I wanted something that was like felt free and um, allowed me to express myself in some way. And uh, and I was really struggling. But I mean, I, I was pretty happy when I painted that because I was like, well, you know, it looks like a dog. Now this bird was painted several months after getting started. And um, of course I was looking at different paintings and people's styles online and what appealed to me and um, this guy's the a guy that paints similar to this with a, now I was using a brush he uses a paint knife and um, so I was trying to create that effect and I felt really happy about it and when I look at this even now I kind of like I like it what I like about it are the colors there's, I've noticed in my painting that there is a real theme in the colors that I use and um, colors that make me feel happy and um, that I just enjoy painting with. And so, so what you see now is um, where I look back and I realize, okay, these are the colors that I like. This is what makes me feel good when I paint him. And then I realized that I enjoy painting animals. And there's something that really appeals to me about that. And I know I painted in school um, like a deer. And that's just one of my real memorable paintings. I don't know why. But um, I apparently I enjoy doing that. And... So that kind of, oops, don't touch things while I'm recording, I guess. Sorry about that noise. Um, so I guess that that kind of looking back at my work made me realize, okay, you know, there's what I'm seeing here is that I like painting animals and I like painting animals with really bright, vibrant, maybe non-realistic colors. And so that was kind of eye-opening for me 
What I also realized um, by chance was that I much preferred watercolor. And that was kind of a really interesting um, fluke, the way that I ended up doing getting involved with watercolor again. And I happened to have been at Tuesday morning, and I ran across a box of watercolor pencils, and I thought, oh my gosh, that sounds really fun. Um, I think I'm going to grab these, and I think they were like $14.99 and a really big set and a pretty tin box. And so I took them home, and I drew this dog and, and painted him, and... And it just really brought back to me how much I loved watercolor when I was in school and how much I enjoyed um, just the whole process with painting with watercolor. And so I was, so then I just went out and I bought some watercolor and tubes and some water, you know, specifically watercolor brushes and started playing around with them and my first big mistake was not using good paper I just picked up whatever I found I guess at like probably Michael's and it was wood pulp and so I struggled for a couple of months with that before I finally broke down and invested in some good watercolor paper and the difference was like instantly amazing so my next step was I started um, painting friends dogs and um, and just painting them over and over and over until I felt like I had um, something that that I didn't actually hate and that I felt like um, was worthwhile maybe it's something that I wasn't embarrassed to post online or something um, well, that was a lot of some things right there, but anyway, so then I started working on trying to find my style, which I have been doing for years. And so I started with these and, you know, I still really like that. I like that the, the freedom that I had there. Um, and then I've discovered that, that I really like painting eyes, realistic looking eyes. That's one thing that really appealed to me. And... Um, somewhere right in there, I lost the freedom and started tightening up with my art. And even though I wasn't using um, exactly realistic colors, I was starting to actually um, define things and paint more realistically. And I mean, I'm still to this day kind of disappointed about that. I'm finding that I'm not really a loose painter. And that um, that is something that I would really I think that I would like to work on in the future, but um, but that's not where I'm at right now. I'm painting a lot of more realistically and a lot more detailed, but I don't hate it. I actually like it. And this is where I'm at today with my art is at this point, and the way that I got there. You've seen my transition from acrylic to watercolor, but the way that I actually got to the point where I'm at today with this type of art was that I stopped completely trying to paint like somebody else. And I started taking photographs and just painting what felt right for me. And that literally was the turning point in my art um, not trying to be somebody else not trying to paint like Maria whose art I absolutely adore I'm um, not trying to paint like just like anybody else just trying to um, paint like me and uh, not compare myself to anyone. Now, I do still watch videos. I watch videos all the time because it's something that I really love to do. And I learn little t tricks, tips, techniques, um, things like that. But when I literally stopped trying to copy someone else's style is when I found my own. And 
I hope that this information will help you in your process to find your own style. Now, I will say that this was a progression of years for me. I think I've spent um, six years since I first went back to painting. And um, it doesn't happen overnight, and it doesn't happen in a year. Um, so I'm not saying don't follow tutorials. I make tutorials specific of, for people to watch um, and learn, you know, how I do it or my little tips or my little tricks that I do um, to create an effect. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I think that it definitely helps you along in your journey. But there will come a point sometime in your process where you, if you're trying to develop your own style, that you will probably stop trying to be like someone else and just start creating and while you're creating there's going to be a lot of I mean I've shown you some of my really ugly paintings and I've but I've also showed you some of my better ones and the reason that um I didn't show you all of my failures is because I probably didn't even take pictures of some of those I mean I've had stacks and stacks of failures it's definitely a creative process and you just have to um, not get discouraged and you just have to stick with it until suddenly one day you can see it happening and even while it's happening even while you're developing your own style because it's not just like one day you wake up and you have your own style while you're developing your own style um, it, there's a progression there it's a development um, and it that does not happen overnight either so um, Good luck with your journey and just hang in there and most of all just enjoy what you're doing don't paint for I mean I, there were times that I was like well I would like to sell a painting and um, you know I'd like to make some money at this because I keep putting so much money into my supplies and those types of things and and it's that's just part of the journey you just have to realize that you know that's not probably going to happen for most of us we're not going to just like right out the gate, boom, start selling art and being really good at it. It's, uh, it's a creative process and it just takes time. And that's where we all are. We're just following our journey and I hope that you're enjoying it. And I hope that some of my information has been helpful. So happy painting. Thanks for watching.